the only one. And it, it, we should have been, we should have brought it up first, because it was going to be brought up in that meeting. You were doing your job, that's understandable. But it was, it was, there's, there's a couple people who aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, and we're trying to move them around so we can get people who are more motivated to do stuff. I, I have had Madison next to me, and she's helped me out almost every every second of this that I've been in JAG. She's helped me with posters, figuring stuff out, doing stuff, you know. I've had Chase, he's not in here right now, I don't think, but he, he also, he's been helping me out a lot. He's been putting forth stuff, and I've, and there's been other people who are been in charge of decorations who aren't doing stuff, so I just don't want you to think that we're just coming at you, because there's a lot, there's a couple other people who are, you know, we're trying to, we just, I feel personally that I don't know if maybe you got other things going on, whatever it is, whether, you know, but I feel as if you're not participating enough, because I, I feel like you, 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 you are the vice president. You are supposed to be next to me when I need help organizing classrooms, organizing meetings, you know, and a lot of that responsibility is you just gotta be able to kind of just reel yourself in and be able to talk about things and uh, not, you know, fly off the rails and get bent out of shape over stuff. Especially when no no one's no one's attention is to make you feel bad or upset. And I get that, but when you're saying that I should be there, my thing is, you go straight to Madison every time. You've gone straight to Madison since this thing started. You've never gone to me. As your vice president, you've never gone to me. You've always gone to Madison. Uh, and I get that you and Madison have a friendship or whatever, and you guys are closer, but if I'm your VP, you should be coming to me, not your secretary. It, what it started was Madison came to me first. Madison let me know that I could depend on her by coming to me for the presidential speech, helping me for like, when, like the first presidential speech I did. Sorry for that. Ariel, Jacob, is Jasmine in here? Is Jasmine in the middle of something? Like, I feel, she was there, and you were there too, but like I said, you, more if it felt like you just were being vice president just because I said you want to be vice president, you said yeah. That's what it felt like. I, like it's, not, I, it's not because me and Madison have had a better friendship. We, she comes to me first, and then it's like now we have. I, I do want to come to you when it comes to writing stuff down about the um, the posters and stuff. It would be nice. I, I would love if you would go up there and write on the board and help me out with that. Um, organizing the group chat. You started doing that, and I don't, I don't know what happened to getting the Snapchat group chat, but like that, that never happened, but you said you were going to do that. Uh, I I don't really know what, what's been participated for the decorations for the Halloween dance, or you know, what's been going on for the I&I, &I, how much, have been, I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is you, I'll, I don't mind letting you still be vice president if you can just prove to me that I can, I can depend on you and lean on you if I need support for controlling the class or whatever, whatever the case is, whatever future endeavors are for Jazz. Um, you want to let Emma give her piece? Yes. No, I want to hear why Julie's carrying. I want to hear why everybody thought that I should be impeached. Yeah, let's go around. Let's make okay. it a real yeah, vote. Let's go around. Let's go around. Alright, we're going to come to you first. Do you feel personally that Emma should be re rethought of for vice president? From what you've seen. I know you haven't seen all too much. Yeah, I haven't Just seen all. Just keep it quick, like a couple minutes first. Okay, okay, like this because 
I don't um, think it's important that you. I, I didn't really see her video. work like the other day when. Uh, I'm just You're not. not, just, I'm, I'm not it. It, but I'm just saying, like, I didn't really see you do much the other day when we were like making posters and stuff. You were just like watching Blue Ranger thing, right? Um, <clears throat> we gotta start taking this like more serious. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that you're not taking it serious. I'm just saying like you gotta like put more into it. You know what I mean? Like, Jimmy, it was for like when this class started, I understand not taking it too seriously because I personally didn't take it too seriously. Yeah. But now this class is helping all of us out in a lot of ways and. I've seen a lot of the officials like Chase or you or Madison, you're at every meeting, you're at every assembly, you're putting in your work where you need to put in your work. And I've only seen Emma a couple times do what she's needed, but I haven't been here every single time, so. Jacob, Butter. Oh, my, I, I, my, yeah, yeah. my thing on Jimmy's is you guys have been here every Spartan time, and I get that, but I've had actual classes that I had to go to so that I didn't fail. These are classes that I need to graduate and stay on track for what I want to do after high school. And so yes, I put them above this. And I understand and that I, Julius, as a priority. Julius and I have that too. I'm Everyone does. Hey, can I say something? I understand that. And that's why I also said you, you have other things that you have to put before JAG, but when you signed up for JAG, and I understand that every now and then, it's like it's fine, you know, but you gotta understand that when you signed for JAG, you put JAG, you signed up, you, you wanted to do it. And that's why we're giving you the opportunity. If you feel like you need to focus more on school than on, a, you know, JAG, whatever, you know, if you wanna, if it's, you know, whatever it is, if you wanna, if you feel like you need to focus more on school, that's 100% fine. But, but that's when you need to recognize there, there that you can't people, step up 100% and you need to step up. There are other people who, who have their, their ducks in a row and their whatever it is. And they, they don't need to be having to focus too much on that so they can come in and do stuff still. That's, that was kind of what I said that you had other stuff going on. That's the other stuff is your grades or whatever, whatever the case may be. But yes. Jake right. Butler. So in JAG, everyone has their own niche, and everyone has to fall in place with how this as a unit can move forward. And then it's kind of strange when we have people like Madison, who is only a secretary, am I saying that? A secretary doing more work than the vice president. And even you said it yourself that you have stuff going on, like courses that you need to get through to graduate. And that's fine, I see that. So then why do you want to assume the role of a vice president if you have all this other stuff going on? How many balls are you going to have in the air before it gets too much to handle and you can't pull your own weight? I'm just saying that it was literally two days. Two days of what? I was in a different Spartan time for two days. And then you guys decided, oh, she can't do it. It, it, was, a, it, was, a lot, it was a lot more than that. I don't... But now it here's a the lot thing, more than Julius. That, yes. Spooky grams, I was here every day to do everything that I could. There was a day when we were trying to get all of these fundraisers organized that I came in here every single class period I had and sat down with Missy Baco and we figured everything out. Can we second that? She did come in that and help, yes. So um, there, there are things that I, I get it, I don't step up and do. I did watch my Netflix the other, yesterday and I get that. I, sh I won't do it again. but. There's also things that I'm doing that you guys don't realize that I'm the one doing them. Well, that that that's I'm happy that you came in and did all that stuff. I didn't, now that now that's something you you should bring to me because I didn't I didn't know you did any of that. I didn't know any of that went down, and I could have been in here helping as well. Right, like that's something you would as, as a vice president you gotta tell me. Hey, I'm gonna be coming in every period here. Um, if you'd like to come and help too, you know, if you got a study hall or whatever. Come and help President, Vice President, and Ibaco for the Rice Krispies, whatever it was. Uh, I Communication. Communication is something that. But that goes both ways. I know. I, mean, I, I feel like I'm pretty, I'm pretty communicative. I'm, if there's anything that I don't communicate to you, it's this. This whole situation 
should have been a discussion between me and you before it was a whole class thing. Do you see what I'm saying? The you should have brought up your concerns that I'm not doing what I should be doing to me before you talked to everybody else about it and decided what you should do about it when I wasn't here. Well, I, as a singular person, cannot make a decision to impeach someone. So yes, I took. But I, I feel took. like you, you have your concerns. And I feel like if anybody had their concerns about me and my position, I feel like they should have come to me and talked to me so that I can figure out what I need to do instead. I. And not just get blindsided in Spanish class yesterday with <coughs> Madison saying that I was impeached and somebody else was vice president. I, the original reason all of this impeachment, all these questioning of, of people and their spots, that wasn't me, that was Ibaco. She brought up to me that she had concerns for officers not doing what they're supposed to do. I simply bring it up to you, ask people for their own opinion on what's going on, and just them execute. I'm I still think that if anybody had any concerns, should have been brought up to me before it was brought up to the whole class when I wasn't here. But it wasn't, okay. and we're bringing it up now. We're addressing it now, we've got about and that's why seven we're, minutes that's left, why we're, and we've got to finish this. I would like to say one last thing. So is we've got to finish reasoning, because I'm sure other people have stuff to say that they want to get off, whatever. So we'll get that, and then we can discuss right. vice presidency, where we're taking it from next. So... This is why it's important that we have things like re-elections, because now you want to know what everyone's going to think, you know, a quarter into the school year, how well you've been doing as a vice president versus how well someone else might be doing. And it's not to say that you've been doing a bad job because you just explained everything you did well. It's just what do the people think would be better as an option? And also, there's nothing saying that, that any of this is even, like, like a, the whole thing is we have, I, I made three people a part of the thing because it's like we have all these people. I like that. Everyone's getting group. rearranged. So I'm saying if you're, let's say you're not vice president, that doesn't mean your role as a part of, you know, me, Chase, and Madison is going to change. You no, but it does because I'm not part of that. But I'm saying, look at this. If I just made a, I made a group of three people who are, none of them are officers, except, I mean, we're, we're trying to arrange things to make them officers, but these guys right here. Can we just continue and see what Natalie, Madison, Ariel, and Casey have to say? Yes. And Hunter. Okay. Hunter. No comment? I mean, I don't really care. You have opinions. You can say them. Vice yeah. president. Such a I really care. Like, this is our future. Vice president yeah, not. Like school stuff. But I really yeah. don't think that while everyone else is working and doing something, you should be laying on the floor watching Netflix with your headphones in. I don't think that that you can really have an excuse for that. Because why? I didn't say I had an excuse for it. I never said. And I said that I know that I shouldn't be doing it, and I said that it wouldn't happen again. I owned up to what I, I did. did I, I, what, did, what do you think I just did? I owned up to what I did, and I said that I wasn't going to do it again. Not that you got her off. Well, because she's going back on a topic that we already went over three times. Okay, and? And you're pissed you off right now. No one else is pissed off. Natalie's pissed off. You can tell Natalie's pissed off. I'm I can tell you're it. pissed off too, way more than anyone else. Not be pissed off. So well, let's come at this and just be real, know. yeah. At all. No. It's just listen. Also, this we need to, if you we need to be able to communicate. This is not like not. We need you need to be able to communicate to people without letting emotions take control. People are gonna have their own opinion. People, I, I'm sure people think poorly of me. People think poorly of everyone. But now, when people lay it on the floor, you should have respect that they're letting you know it. And you know, I don't. As much as it, it may, it may be like, oh, but that's why you have a chance to rebuttal after the statement is said. We understand you're not gonna be sitting and playing, watching Netflix anymore. I'm happy. I'm happy to see in the future none that not had not going on. Uh, I can't wait to see that happen in the future. Now, the fact that it happened, 
and it's it's something that is it did it did, it did bother a good amount of people or it wanted to be brought up. Now the like I said we can go about you retaining the position of vice president. But it, it, like it, like you said, you said you were working on the Rice Krispie and the Spooky Grand. But you know, I was also working on Spooky Grand. Madison was working on Spooky Grand. We were all working on Spooky Grand. And just because Spooky Grand was over didn't mean me and Madison started, you know, taking it easy. We kept we kept going. Now we got to do a dance. Now it's time to get into the dance. Now it's time to do costume day. It's not you know, just because we did the Rice Krispies and that was a success doesn't mean we can just stop the track train at the station and leave it. We gotta keep going. So I I just just going back on that with that statement. Uh, that's sorry. So we have like three minutes. Okay. My whole basis for impeachment or anything like that is JAG is something that has potential to be big in North Newton. We have a lot of students that have potential to go places and don't have the background to do so. And this program really could give those kids the boost that they need to get into the colleges that they, that they need, to get the jobs to support themselves so they don't have to rely on their families or so they can help support their families. We need people to lead JAG with background and ability. We need the people that are gonna step up and lead it for not just themselves, but for everyone. We need people who are compassionate and caring and kind and who wanna step up and do the right thing, not just once or twice, not when we have fundraisers, not when we have ceremonies, but all the time. We need someone that we can depend on, someone reliable, someone trustworthy, someone, someone that can relate to the people and be able to talk to their classmates as their classmates, not the minority. We are a team as JAG. The four leading heads, those are just our representatives. That's really all it is. It doesn't matter who takes the position because of what they're doing for, for right now. It's We should have people standing in those positions that have done the most, not just once or twice, but throughout, that have been able to pull the rest of the JAG class to where we're at now. The people that were selling spooky grams every day, they deserve the recognition. People that were up on stage at I&I, &I, they deserve the recognition. People that have actually tried since day one in this class deserve the recognition as officers. The three boys, they've stepped up a whole lot since this class started, and I'm proud of each and every one of them. They deserve to be officers. Hunter's done a lot. He deserves some position. Ariel has had no position, <coughs> and she's worked harder than a lot of us put together. She's done everything backstage, behind the curtains, without any recognition, and she deserves that. And I think I did, I've done a lot more than just secretary, and I think there should be recognition for that, too. I don't like to give my own horn and shit like stuff, stuff, stuff I, I like it. that. Madison, Madison. But I think our position should be based on what we bring to the table. It's not a popularity yes. contest. It doesn't matter. Being a vice president, it's like it's such a big role. And you gotta she like, storms out. You gotta like, Jacob, shut the fuck up. I'm you have to like take yeah. that position. What you have? Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's the vice okay. president. Hey, no. Hey. No, we just yeah, talked about that. We just about. talked about caring and compassionate and kind. We are a team. We're not no matter. Yeah, yeah, no matter. No matter how she's mad at listen. us. Listen. No, listen, listen, listen. Listen, Julius, give me a second. No matter her decisions, she is a student. She she represents a piece of JAG. We need to work together to fix this. We can't work against her. Yeah. We have to work with her. We're Please, not, we're not patience. Yes. A little bit of slack. Okay. That's Emma, all I ask. Emma was upset because we had a big position and she got taken out of it for no reason. We have to understand that she couldn't be upset. Yeah. And take it out on her. She says the Let's go about it. Let's go about this the right way then. Here's what I say, guys. I want everyone in here to hear this before we're done. Okay, saying we wanted to impeach her was wrong, not coming up to talk to her was wrong, now let's vote. It's the end of the quarter, let's vote on this. She's not people. even in here. Yeah. She's not even in here. She's not even in here. She went right to lunch, bro. She went, I gotta go. Fuck this.
I was going to ask Emma, who do you think would be a better vice president, you or Madison? What would she say? I do. Is she going to lie and say, I think I would be a better vice president? Not after telling someone to shut the fuck up and storm it out. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Shut the fuck up.